to discuss what is the spring bean inheritance and how it is different from the Java inheritance. So if you see in spring, a beans contains a lot of information, right? They have the constructor, they have the properties, and they have the many methods and so on, right? But what we can do if sometime it's such a situation that if some bean want to inherit it of the other's bean property, then we can use the spring inheritance here. So using the spring bean uh, inheritance, it is uh, it is not like the Java inheritance uh, to you have to use the extend keyword, but it is the similar things. So with the help of the spring bean inheritance, what you can do, you can define a parent bean definition as a template and other child bean can inherit the required configuration from the parent bean. So if you see in this config, in this, uh, uh, the configuration. I have the one university class and I have the one college. University has the two subject computer architecture and operating system. But child can take anyone or the all from the university. So how we can making the establish the connection here? This is the magic word. Parent is equal to parent bean id so here parent bean id is u and i so that's why i make the with the college i make the parent is equal to u and i now what we have what will happen see so even though this college are eligible to fetch the subject one even though the subject one is not here so what it will do it will take the subject one from the parent and it is the computer architecture but for the subject to, it is override by the college. He says, hey, I don't want to go the teach the operating system as a subject to. I will decide my subject or my sub paper for the subject to and that is the data type, database. So here this child object inherited the, uh, in override the inherited value of the subject 2 and subject 3 and subject 4 is the additional for this college. So let us uh, make some code and then understand how it works right. So for that go and I make one spring project uh, sorry the maven project next click here next and put the group id as per your and I will say the spring inheritance and finish it. So this is inheritance and I would recommend please visit my other previous video on the spring to get the better understanding. In the pom.xml you have to add the dependency to make this project compatible for the spring framework. So come here, you add. Anyhow, I will share this code on GitHub and I will share the link so you can get the all the code as it is. Okay, I add the spring framework. This is the optional J unit, but this is the important. You have to save it. Now what you have to do, you go and create one, create college and uh, the university right so what I will say you go here create one package you give any name let me just give the di and in di create one class that name is the university In the university, you give the two subjects as I showed you in the configuration file, subject 1 and subject 2, right, and make the setter getter. So it, with the Eclipse, you can do easily right click, source, setter getter, right, select all, it will generate the set again the same way you go and make one object 
give the name college in here no need to give anything extend like the java inheritance right so here you have to give the subject one two three four right and make the setter getter for all the subjects so go here source select all and generate right so this is the setter getter now make one demo class from where i can uh, execute this code right so and obvious i need the public static void main that would be the main java class right so what i have to do as you know first we have to because uh, and now you before that demo we have to make one the configuration file right so configuration file is required with the help of the configuration file spring will create the bins in their container so this is the xml file so go and say the xml file you can give any name uh, for time being i am giving the application contest and you have to add this information make this project compatible for the spring right and here you have to create the bins for the college and for the university so let me make the and college university has the subject one and subject two so i make the subject one and the subject two for the university right same way you have to make the college but for the college what you have to do we have to establish the inheritance property right so what i did here if you see i use this magic word parent is equal to uni right so this is this uni is from this uni here right so now i have the one bin university one is the college and then one is the uh, connection between them making the inheritance right now configuration file is okay now go the demo and as we know already from the previous video first we have to create the application contest right so that is the bean factory and i have to give the xml configuration file name that is the application contest and this is about the application contest okay you have to resolve the dependency so you have to import the code accordingly you have to import the library accordingly okay now first create the instance for the university and here no problem it will if you run here you can get the university subject first one was the computer architecture second is the operating system as per our the configuration file computer architecture and the operating system right now magic is come you create the call is been and see what's happening here so what happened in call is subject one here is the subject one but i have not defined the subject one in this call is so what it will do it will take from the parent and that is the computer architecture but for the subject to it will not take from the parent it will take from his own overrided data okay so now let me run this then you will understand better now if i show you so first two part they run from the university right but for the college if you see first is took from the operating computer architecture from the parent but for the subject to it didn't take from the parent it took from their own data right database java spring right this is the how this inheritance work 
but i would recommend please visit all the videos of the spring to get better understanding and please be a kind please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video right thank you very much